Now, Rwanda is home to East Africa's first large-scale commercial solar field, but the project is doing more than just generating renewable energy. It's also empowering local orphans. Zach Badoff reports from the Rwamagana district outside the capital, Kigali. In Rwanda, less than 15% of the population has access to electricity. In rural areas, it can be as low as 1%. The country relies heavily on diesel fuel for its power grid, which is expensive and bad for the environment. So in 2014, this solar field was constructed and developed by private power companies with early stage funding from the U.S. government's Power Africa initiative. These 28,000 panels bring in 8.5 megawatts of power at peak, 4% of Rwanda's total power capacity. This solar field brings light to more than 15,000 homes around the country. We're living in the world and we have to contribute uh, to minimize or to eradicate and eliminate uh, polluting the, the, the atmosphere. So investing in solar, uh, it's one thing. Uh, we also contribute into another thing, uh, contributing not to a global warming, but solar is one thing because we need energy and we need clean energy. The 17 hectares of solar panels are located on land owned by the Agohozo Shalom Youth Village. The choice of the site was no accident. The rent paid by the private company running the solar field helps empower vulnerable youth, orphaned during or after Rwanda's 1994 genocide. He didn't talk much, but the time after time, day by day, when he used to come in this room, I used to give him pencil and drawing, try and try. He became someone else. When I have a problem, I take a paper and a pencil and draw, and that problem goes away. Like when I have stress, I draw or paint. And when I'm painting or drawing, I feel very happy. 500 students live and study here. Wow! The mission was really to help um, bring back all the children who have uh, lost parents and, and, uh, and siblings and everything in their lives to try to recreate the next best family that these children should have had had their parents been alive. When it comes to energy, the future of the entire nation is at stake. Rwanda's government aspires to nearly triple its power capacity by the end of 2018 through renewable power sources like methane, hydro, mini-hydro, peat, thermal, and more solar fields. Zach Badur for VOA News in the Rwamagana district, Rwanda.